Welcome to a booth at the Embedded World 2022 in Nuremberg. Engineering a working Linux for your embedded device is one thing, but maintaining the software stack over security updates and new features, maybe even for 10 or more years, is a completely different story. Automated testing of a complete embedded system on real hardware plays an important role in maintaining the device for a long time. In this demonstration, we will show you some components that can help you with your automated testing. I'll put some links to all of them into the description. The first component is LabGrid. LabGrid is an open source board control library written in Python. It allows you to interactively control embedded devices on your desk or as a remote location. It has a strong focus on automation. You can either use it as a library in your scripts or as a PyTest plugin. This way you can run tests on real hardware that feel like pure software testing. The next component is a product from our spin-off, Linux Automation. Our test automation controller connects the electrical world to LabGrid. It provides interfaces like UART, a power switch with voltage and current measurement, USB host and device ports, and general purpose outputs. The test controller can be powered using power over Ethernet and has an integrated Ethernet switch. This means that in most cases you only have two connections to your test setup – power for your device under test and power over Ethernet for the test automation controller. The device runs Linux based on Yocto, the Yocto layers will be open source once the device is available, and the device will most likely be available at the end of 2022. In this demonstration we will run a few tests on the device under test, that is the bigger bone with the motor down here. At the beginning of a test run, LabGrid will switch the device off and multiplex the newest SD card image to the device on the test using the USB SD mux. Afterwards, the DUT is powered on and LabGrid interrupts the auto boot to run a first test inside the bootloader. Afterwards, the boot process is resumed and LabGrid will take control over the Linux shell. In the Linux shell, the purpose of this device will be tested. We can spin the disk at a given speed. By now slowing the disk down with a finger, we can let some tests fail. In a real-world scenario, these results would now be collected by the test runner, and some engineer would have to investigate what has happened. But in our demonstrator, the process simply starts over again. We at Pengotronics provide you with support for embedded Linux. For example, if you want to set up your own automated testing lab, or if you are looking for purpose-built hardware for embedded Linux testing please feel free to contact us at sales at pengotronics.de.